It's happening. I'm smoking Joe from the Joe Practice Channel, and today I am doing another getting ready to fight Mike Tyson workout called throwing a shot put and uh, for power. I'm using my bad Larry hip rope, swinging a golf club, throwing my hands, and uh, swinging a bat from both sides. All right, check it out. See how I'm practicing that V? It's very important. That's your defense. Everything comes off your defense. You don't, you don't want to be here. That's the old ways. That's to get your fucking punch in the face way. This is how you defend yourself, all right? You're out here. Out here, all right? Capiche? All right, so it's just a little something I do. I don't overdo it. I don't throw it too hard. I just don't roll. 61. I gotta take care of myself. Um, now I'm gonna swing on the hip rope. That's my bad Larry hip rope. That rope's been outside for years. But uh, I like it. It gets robust and almost like a piece of like a tongue. So I'm gonna swing a uh, driver on that. I like to put it to a height where I can get the driver under it with real ease. And then I'm just kind of like figuring out where that contact point is 
trying to get that little whip on my hips. Working on that stuff, and when I swing a, go a, a baseball bat from both sides, it's just like awesome. And I'll throw some hands. All right, so these right here, this setup right here is for boxing. One tier up is for high jumps. So basketball, you know, jump shot moves and stuff like that. So they're 100, 100 and a quarter. And as they go lower, they're just a little bit cheaper. See that move? That's a repeatable move. That's an awesome driver move. You can do that in your house. Doesn't make any noise, all feel. Get that one. The trick with this is to not overdo it.
All right. That's a little bit higher. That's Paul Sullivan's tonight, I imagine. Hey, you gotta practice. Um, not Mike Tyson's, but I'll lower that. I lower that. Only practicing, just in case I get an opportunity to just spar these guys. They're the ones that started with me, or at least Paul Sullivan did. He said he was gonna knock me out with pink gloves on. I'm like, what? <laughs> imagine that. I haven't, I mean, I boxed for 10 straight years. Never got knocked out, never got knocked out. Was trained by Futch. Petronelli brothers, the, uh, the, both of the uh, Dundee brothers, Chris and Angelo, along with like so many other great fighters and trainers and whatnot along the way out in Vegas and San Antonio with Tony Ayala and Joe Souza. I lived there. I mean, all over Boston, never been knocked down. I like to, pra I like to brag about that. But now that Tyson's fighting again, we just missed each other as amateurs. Long story. It was my fault. I didn't know about him, personally. I was trying to avoid Peter Wabuda, and I dropped down a, a weight class because I was sat next to him um, going out to like fight him in the gloves in uh, regionals, and his legs were like this big. And I was like 180. He was huge, and I it was, it was my first year fighting. So I thought it would be easier for me to lose three pounds and drop down to light heavyweight and fight as a light heavyweight than be 180 and fight as a, um, you know, as a heavyweight. It didn't work out because I went right by 170, right to like a middle weight and definitely wasn't my weight. I did good, but it wasn't, I should have stayed a heavyweight. But in the past, no, no getting that back. But now Tyson's fighting again, so. And then that Paul Sullivan dude started with me. I was like, fucking asshole. You know, all of the time I've been boxed, I boxed for so long, never had a problem with anyone. Greatest fighters in the, in the world I boxed against, never had a problem with anyone until like recently at TJX in Framingham, my own town. I get a meathead supervisor, like, telling me, calling me out, and I'm like, huh? I haven't boxed in 30 years. Now Tyson's fighting again, and I'm thinking maybe I will box, and I'll start with him. He's telling me he runs five miles in sand. I'm thinking I haven't run five miles in sand or anything else in like 35 years. <laughs> I'm not a runner. Anyway, backyard working out, doing that shot put. These are my invention. Those are like 100 bucks. You can get them on my, online or call me. 7816428010. I don't know where I'm supposed to look on this thing. It looks like I'm looking away. I don't know where. Um, yeah. I'm smoking Joe. I'm weighing probably 220 right now, 225. I'm six feet tall. Um, I used to be 6'1. I'm walking around like this now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm singing too. I've been practicing for four years. Three or four, yes, yeah. So I'm doing Sinatra songs, and um, I'm gonna look right here. <laughs> um, what else am I doing? Sinatra songs, uh, a couple of uh, Kenny Chesney songs, Blake Sheldon, a few of his, um, a few others. Bonnie Raitt, I Can't Make You Love Me. My wife hates that song. I sing that to her all the time. <laughs> anyway. Smoking Joe on the Joe Practice Channel, July 15, 2022. The wife went away and I'm home alone. Ciao, I might sing later.